Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. This is an anxious and difficult time for Americans all across the nation. Welcome, Hillary. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much, Joe. It's a real pleasure to be here with you and to be part of this very important discussion. And I am thrilled uh, to be part of your campaign to not only endorse you, but to help highlight a lot of the issues that are at stake uh, in this presidential election. As you just so rightly said, uh, this terrible pandemic that we're all going through hits a lot of Americans much harder than others. Uh, we've seen it firsthand in hospitalizations and in, unfortunately, uh, fatalities. But we've also seen it when we look uh, at the pictures uh, of those people on the front lines. Do you know 80% of all health care workers in America are women? And one out of three jobs held by women in our country has been classified as essential. So this is an issue that affects all of us, uh, young and old, every kind of oh, you sleeping? women in our country <laughs> has been classified as essential. So this is an issue that affects all of us, uh, young and old. I think and Joe Biden can lead us there. Thanks, Joe. Oh, Hillary, thank you. We are. We are friends, uh, gosh, uh, <laughs> and uh, we both have a, uh, you know, that famous uh, quote by Joyce, when I die, Dublin will be written on my heart. I think when we die, Scranton will be written on our hearts. <laughs> um, and uh, it was, uh, um, I really, uh, I really appreciate your friendship. And well, what a, well, what a, uh, just a wonderful personal uh, endorsement. Look, we, we, we have to take a few questions. Uh, cool. and, and Michelle Kwan is going to read some questions to us that were submitted. And uh, Michelle, welcome. And thank you for all your involvement throughout this effort for both uh, Hillary and uh, before and me. So Michelle, uh, fire away. All right, thank you so much, Vice President Biden. Our first question comes from Tiffany in Connecticut. She asked, there are a lot of women who are in abusive relationships and are now stuck at home with their abusers. What are ways how women being abused can get help and know that they have a safe place to go? Well, thanks, uh, Michelle. And I'm so glad uh, Tiffany is asking that question. Violence against women is a huge problem, and especially right now. And Hillary and I have worked very hard on trying to end violence against women, wrote that legislation, and it's been one of the leading causes of my life. I've met thousands of domestic violence victims for real, you know, trying to get the law passed and finally getting it passed and, and working beyond that. And it's heartbreaking to know the suffering they have experienced and are experiencing. But I also know how much courage they have. Our support for victims has to match the courage they show every day. First, I want victims to know they are not alone. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is there for them. It might be hard to make that call when you are essentially trapped in a home because of the stay-in order, that the stay-at-home orders that exist. But you can text and you can chat online. So please reach out for help. The hotline can connect you to an emergency shelter. They can help you find a safe place to go. They can provide you to get out of the house safely. And federal and state governments need to do everything they can to help survivors at this moment in time. That means, one, providing survivors a place to live where they can stay safe and healthy. We have violence women's shelters and homes, but we have to move beyond that. We should empower FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Organization, to work with every state so they immediately increase shelter options, including contracting with hotels and motels to provide shelter, modifications like uh, sleeping uh, in, uh, in, 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 you know, just to have the idea that we deal with trailers that are available for people as well. You know, we have to also provide immediate economic relief to survivors. No one should be forced to stay with their abuser because they don't have the resources to leave, particularly, you know, the vast majority of kids in the street are there because their moms are victims of violence. We need to provide survivors. And the way we provide for survivors is we include cash assistance, unemployment insurance, flexible to their needs, and paid safe days and safe leave. 
You know, and we have to make sure all survivors, survivors of color, immigrants, survivors of Native, Native American survivors, older survivors, those with disabilities, the, LB, the LB, LGBTQ community, survivors, they all need support. And we have to make sure survivors and services can be connected. I've worked very to make that hotline as uh, had a, a the state of the art telecommunications. When you call, they can tell where you are. They can get there in a hurry with real police protection if you need it. Now it's time to push again. We have to equip our hotlines and vital service providers and service providers with the tools that they need to take care of the person who's calling. There's a lot more to be said about this topic, and today I've released a, a proposal on how I'd address the scourge of violence against women during this public health crisis. Uh, go to JoeBiden.com, and I hope you'll look them over because there's ways out. The worst thing in the world is being a prisoner in your own home, and so many people are right now. Hillary, uh, well, Joe. Yeah, look, I, I looked at uh, the policy that you're releasing. It is state of the art. Uh, I hope everybody watching uh, goes to uh, uh, your website and starts looking and reading your policies. You've got a, an incredibly uh, progressive, detailed set of policies already on your website. Uh, but there's a relation to a point you made earlier, and that is uh, this is an issue, violence against women, domestic violence, uh, that is one of the many, many issues that depend upon state and local resources. Because as you said, uh, you call that hotline, very often uh, the hotline will refer you to uh, a shelter or if necessary, uh, police or EMT workers um, to your door. Well, those are local resources. And people who think we don't need to uh, you know, reimburse and help uh, state and local governments are just, again, missing the forest for the trees. If you believe in police protection, fire protection, EMT services, hotline shelters for domestic violence uh, survivors and everything else, you've got to know that the uh, budgets of our state and local governments uh, during this crisis have been uh, drained. And we've got to get to them some relief to be able to provide the services that not only individuals like domestic violence survivors need, but every one of us. Uh, we don't know when we need police or fire or EMT or anything that uh, we might in the future require. We know we need sanitation and, and public health and all the rest of it, all of which needs to be uh, funded adequately. So. Uh, I think uh, the work you've done, as long as I've known you, on behalf of domestic violence, uh, the violence against uh, women legislation that you wrote and you led. I remember when we set up uh, the office in the Justice Department in the Clinton administration, uh, you know, that was part of your legislation. Uh, so this issue deserves to be um, focused on, and we need to encourage people, call that hotline. Uh, don't suffer in silence, either you or your children. Seek help even now during this pandemic crisis. And then let's all resolve that we're going to do even better following the outline of the policy that you've put out to make sure that everyone in every home in America uh, can be as safe as they deserve to be. Everybody, I want to thank Hillary for joining us in this conversation today. And Hillary, I'm going to keep calling and asking for your advice. Uh, the coronavirus is a shining a bright light on the equities in our country, and there's so much work to do. But I have no doubt we can meet these challenges brought on by this virus if we work together. 